Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another speed build and today we're going to be building a mid-century modern home. Now um, this is actually going to be a starter mid-century modern. I know I've done a other uh, mid-century modern house not too long ago which was a little bit bigger uh, but this one is more on the uh, smaller side. It came out to be about 20 odd thousand simoleons which is pretty good for a size like this and um, I hope you like it. You can go ahead and download this off the gallery. My origin ID is real Thomas TV one and you can go ahead and uh, download it for yourself. No custom content used or anything like that so you should easily be able to find it. So um, I'm really really happy how this turned out. Um, this is kind of it's one bedroom one bathroom and on the front we've got like a um, kind of like a porch area. It's all like on the front instead of having like a little bit at the front and a little bit at the back. Um, so I did actually put a um, like a barbecue in this front area as well with like a seating area but I did have to go ahead and take out that barbecue at the end because we were running out of simoleons. That always happens with me when it comes to doing the final touches like for the landscaping and stuff. There's just never enough simoleons to get it all done. Um, but I did change up the um, kind of like the path that I had outside and stuff like that a couple of times. So I did cut out those little bits um, so this video wasn't too long. Now this did take me about 50 odd minutes in total to build this, um, which wasn't that long to be honest. So start at home normally takes me about an hour to an hour and a half, so that's pretty good. Um, so like I said, one bedroom, one bathroom, well did I say that? I can't remember. Um, and we've got an open kitchen, dining space um, and living space. Now the kitchen is very, very small, but it is, you know, enough space to get what you need to do. Um, it's very functional and everything. Um, so we're working on the porch area out here. Now I did put a couple of extra things in, um, but I did put a patio heater in as well which I thought would be a nice little touch for a start at home um, since you know start at homes are pretty boring in some aspects um, so I did actually put that in but we did run out of money so I did have to delete that at the end um, and those things are actually pretty expensive there's a lot of different items here which you think wouldn't be that expensive but they really are especially with paintings are so overpriced like for like a simple a paint it's like 300 simoleons which is ridiculous which means for start at homes you don't really have a lot to actually decorate it with um, so there isn't really a whole lot of decoration in the home I mean I try my best but I feel like sometimes to start at homes they do look a bit bare and for a speed build video it doesn't really look that impressive but it is just a start at home and um, which I keep forgetting sometimes anyway so we're moving on to the kitchen area here and um, this is very small as you can see it was literally just like how big is it I think it's three by two or something it's very very small and um, but it does have your oven your sink and a uh, fridge in it so that's good gets your um, a couple of little um, decorations in there as well um, maybe just one or two things though and it's also a coffee pot in there they're only like 50 simoleons those coffee pots which I kind of find a little bit surprising compared to some of the other items that maybe you don't think as good as that is one of the basic ones I'm like how is that only 50 simoleons anyway um so I'm gonna go ahead and do this now what I also put some cabinets in as well probably could have took those out and have a little bit of extra money now that I think about it because they aren't functional um but you know just for a bit of decoration I did want to put it a like just like a single piece of wall piece of wall that doesn't even sound right but you know what I mean next to the kitchen that it kind of separated off a little bit because it seems like the counters were all like in the open if that makes sense but um it did make it too cramped so I did have to not do that um so this didn't really take me very long because it was a very small you know kitchen I was trying to put like another little thing going around there as you would have just saw there another uh, piece of countertop um, to kind of make like maybe a bar stool area but again it's very very small it was kind of impossible to do that so here we've got a small dining table as well and also I was well I didn't I was going to put the um the what was it the bathroom door coming in from where that dining table is but I kind of forgot about that and I didn't want to have it in the bedroom the door going through to the bathroom because um that's the that's where the bed was going to go so I did have to move that um the dining table along a little bit in just a, a short minute to actually go ahead and make sure that everything was um you know right um for the um tv placement in the living room area um, it was a little bit awkward because it is a bit of a small space I was going to put one of the um the sofa that we got from Bowling Night Stuff Pack but it is pretty big for this size home so I did have to just go with one of the armchairs that we got um, I did do two different colours for the um, sofa and the armchair um, I feel like that's something I've seen doing a couple of don't what, what I can't pronounce things done a couple of times um, but it looks okay sometimes I don't really think it looks right it looks like there's like a color glitch or something if I do it two similar different colors but um, I did do two completely different colors here but they both contrast nicely so I went ahead and did that um, so there was a bit of space behind the TV I wasn't really too sure what to do with it um, I was just gonna put a lamp there but it didn't really it seemed like a bit too short to go behind the TV so I did just um, do kind of like a diagonal wall and just put one of those wall lamps on it instead and that seemed to work and um, another thing I had a problem with with this house was the windows 
windows. Now, um, I'm really happy with the windows and how they look and everything, but there was no like curtains that actually properly worked with them apart from these ones here. Now, um, I don't like using these curtains because they completely cover the windows. I'm not too sure if in game it takes the light away from it or the light still comes through. I can't exactly, I don't think it would. Um, so it kind of darkens the space a bit. So I didn't really want to use these curtains when I didn't have any other choice. So what I went ahead and did was is actually took it off the grid a little bit. So they're kind of like half open and half closed, if that makes sense. I don't know if what you were thinking there, like what on earth is he doing? But that's my explanation behind it. Um, again, it doesn't look right, but that's kind of like the only thing I could think of because kind of like the curtain railing at the top's coming off the window, which doesn't look too great. So, I mean, that was the only thing I could really do, to be honest. So um, we're moving on to the bedroom in just a second. I'm just doing a couple of finishing touches here in the main uh, living space. Um, and for the bed, I mean, I was I couldn't even afford a bed here, so I was having to go through and trying to delete a couple of things. Um, and I did put one in. Again, I used that brick feature wall there, which I do in pretty much every single bedroom I do, which I kind of need to stop doing a little bit, but it is nice to have that feature accent wall sort of thing in the bedrooms. Um, I normally do that kind of like you've got the uh, normal painted or wallpaper, and then you have a, just one wall with uh, a brick or stone on it. And I think it looks really, really nice. Um, but again, I think I'm doing that a little bit too much, so I need to stop doing that. Um, but it is, again, like I said, a really nice thing to do. Just add a little bit of accent, especially for a house like this where there's not really a whole lot to it. Um, so having that is kind of, uh, well, not really essential, but it is nice to have. And um, yeah, so the bedroom didn't really take that long. I did forget to put a rug in there, but when I came back at the end, I wouldn't have had enough money anyway to do that. Um, I would have to sacrifice a couple of things to get a rug in there. And I don't, uh, I mean, it kind of fills up the space nicely, makes it a little bit more home-like but you know the rugs aren't that expensive so once your sim moves in and starts getting a job and stuff I uh, suppose it wouldn't take that long for you to actually um put a uh, rug in there. Um, another thing I didn't manage to afford in this house was a um, a computer, which I think is probably a necessity for your sims to have a job and stuff like that, um, you know, for daily tasks and things. But unfortunately, I did forget to put that in. So hopefully, once your sims would get a little bit more money once they move in, like I said earlier, they'll be able to buy a rug <laughs> and a computer. Um, I think maybe there isn't really any space for a computer to go in, but maybe where the, um, the stereo goes, you could maybe fit something in there in the main living room area. That's possibly an area or maybe in the bedroom somewhere because it was a little bit of space next to the door you could maybe fit it in there um, so we're coming up to the end of the build now we're just going in with some final touches with the landscaping and um, one thing I've been doing with landscaping is actually sizing up the plants now um, this is a really good tip if you are running out of money is to size them up um, it is just just to kind of fill up the space a bit more instead of using a load of different plants and um, it kind of just fills up the space nicely without um, breaking the bank I suppose so um, that's pretty much it for today's video hope you enjoyed make sure you leave a like comment share and subscribe if you haven't download this house from the gallery and i'll see you all next time bye